do you think that the current situation in Kenya has the potential to plunge the country into a state of anarchy? Uh, uh, guys, I think that I, di- I, I don't think that the activities that are running right now can really lead to uh, that dire state, but but this is an eye-opener for us all Kenyans. See that it's a moment that anything can happen, but we are not in a state that we can just outrule everything so that we can go into such a state. I think that the government needs to to hear on the views of the people so that she can make the right decisions. The government can adjust to everyone's needs, but I don't think it's able to to go to such states. Uh, to, those, to those saying that it is a defeatist mindset to say that the country can plunge into a state of anarchy, what do you have to say to such kind of people? Uh, I don't think it's... it's I don't think it's that it's that much. Okay, it's it's uh, the situation that you are going through. It's it needs a lot of exposure too, and it has it's an it has acted as an opener to everyone out here. So I don't think it it will reach that stage. Uh, recent uh, Senator Lele today was saying that uh, the finance bill was a trigger to the recent protests. Do you think that finance bill was a re- finance bill was a trigger to this protest, or there are other issues that were at play in both? Uh, personally, I think that as Kenyans, we have been experiencing most of our issues, which the government has since been unable to address, and it has reached a state that it needed everyone had to act out. So it, it, I think it acted as a trigger. But it's not that it's our first time that you're experiencing such crisis. crisis. So I think it is a, it's a trigger, but ask Kenyans who have been experiencing such issues.